let's jump into today's crypto news. It's the 28th of August. There's plenty of things to talk about. One thing, of course, is the fact that the markets are going down, but there's still lots and lots of different opportunities out there. And there's a couple of things that I'm super, super on. So let's dive in. So Bitcoin, it jumped up as we, as we already saw a few days ago to like 63K and then it pumped on down. This is one reason why, you know, there's no clear indication right now that things are going to go straight up vertical. We don't think that's going to happen till quarter four. So if you're leveraging in these in these kind of conditions, I just want to point out something. If you're trading up and then uh, with leverage, you can ride it up and then just be, if you don't close it fast enough, you can just, it, all the market, the market can take it away from you really, really quickly. ETH jumped and also dove and Solana in the same boat. We went to 160, now we're at 147. There's some things that are doing well. Flocky is one that we'll talk about a little bit later. And then a couple of losers here. Polygon's not doing too well. So five key charts on the recent price drop. So from 65K to 58,000, 10% over the last two days, and Ethereum dropped 14.5% from the from the highs. Uh, one thing here, short-term holders created a resistance level at their break-even price. But mostly, I think it was because traders were speculating on higher prices, but the market isn't ready yet. Retail's still not really coming in. So this is one of the one of the things to keep in mind that until you start to see on-chain metrics showing Coinbase is acquiring new people, then it's a little bit too risky to start leveraging these up. When will Sol get back to $200? I don't know, but I actually have a thesis that right now, if you've got altcoins that you don't like, like I don't want to name them, but if you've got altcoins in your wallet that you don't think are really, really strong, I personally, not financial advice, I'm selling them and just converting them to Sol because I think Sol under $200 is very worthwhile. In general though, the Bitcoin rally is creating more and more crypto millionaires. There'll be a lot of crypto millionaires this year. We will be one of them if we play our cards right. Now, a little bit of Binance news here. I have not translated this personally, so I can't verify what it says, but this is... Uh, Cryptocurrency exchange Binance has seized all Palestinian assets at Israel's request. However, co-founder of Binance says uh, only a limited number of user accounts linked to illicit funds were blocked from transacting. So we've got two things here. One thing here is the, nothing to do with the Middle East or anything like that. Just remember, not your keys, not your crypto. So whenever possible, it is a better idea that you keep your funds on a ledger. But of course, we still need to use centralized exchanges all the time. I typically have a lot less funds on any exchange after FTX. The vote for the Dupe DAO microgrants program has passed. Massive favor. So this will start. And then if you think you can bring something of value to the ecosystem, go and apply. Of course, there's a few people that think it's absolutely pointless, but you know what? I, I actually just think they're wrong. Now the Solana crypto calendar, this is still going through one last update, but remember this should be booked and everyone should check in here every day. We'll scroll on down. We're getting close to the end of the month and then next month is break point. So that's really, really, really cool. Uh, not a lot of stuff going on other than the Duke planetary call, but click on everything to see if there's anything of value for you. And with the LFG launchpad, this is going to be discussed today. So 3.30 PM, see you need to be staking 50 Duke 50 dupe, and then at the end, you fill out a form as fast as you can, then you get a POW up, potentially, if you're fast enough. So that will be 3.30 p.m. UTC. It's just here. All you need to do is just subscribe and then click notify me. And this is shown in local time, uh, but you can't see it. Local time here for me, otherwise 3.30 UTC. Let's move on to Simon's cat token. So Simon's cat and Flocky, remember the airdrop is happening tomorrow, basically, as it bangs on over to uh, the 30th. And you must hold a minimum of 400,000 Flocky in your on-chain wallet or Binance account. If it's on Binance, uh, just keep in mind, yesterday someone mentioned in the U they've been blocked from getting the cat airdrop. I don't know if that's true. I didn't see the email. I don't have a screenshot of it. Just letting you know that you may want to hold it if you're in a country like the US or the UK, you may want to hold this actually in your MetaMask. And there's a bigger reminder here, but essentially, just keep in mind, 400,000 Flocky tokens. And we don't know what the distribution ratio is. This is one of the reasons why I think Flocky is going to do well. Now, the Bonk guy has been correct so many times that one thing is don't just take someone's word for it and, and think they're going to be correct all the time because sometimes they're going to get things wrong. I am following him, but for some reason, uh, just glitching a little bit with Twitter. So I follow him and look at his tweets every single day. Cat will be airdropped to flocky holders based on the snapshot, have a few scenarios playing out in mind because essentially they're airdropping 10% or I think it's 10% or could be even 18.5%. It's a massive amount. Yeah, I think 10% to people uh, on Binance and then another 8.5% to people that are not on Binance. So 
18.5%. And, and let's have a look at the different scenarios because we may get a nice dip in price where we can go and get an entry. Or we may find that these guys are pretty much diamond hands. I see way too many people expecting an airdrop sell-off that I think is uh, a very viable scenario. It means a lot of people are sidelines and waiting for the airdrop sell-off to happen before positioning exactly what I'm talking about. The only problem here is that it could very well play out like it did with the pre-sale where people expected a pre-sale dump like myself just to get sidelined as cat went up to 200 million market cap within 24 to 48 hours. And this is because it's basically amongst it. This is his viewpoint. As I said, it's been right so many times before. This is because it was done via the flocky community and the cult like the diamond like. I'm new to the community. I don't know them. But essentially his viewpoint is we're not going to really see much in the way of selling. Uh, and then we could even pump until August 29th correct briefly and then rip after why will people pump cat into an into a known airdrop event like this because i speculate on a binance listing that's why cat broke so many records on bnb chain post launch it did and that's very important to binance if it goes on to binance we know it's going to go up like 50 to 100 percent just like that so this is his thesis there are plenty of things to keep in mind popcat is now at 700 million and cat i think is going to beat popcat for sure popcat is just too it's just the branding is not going to it can't how can it hit even further? I know Whiff did it, but I don't think Popcat can do it. Do have a little bit of Popcat, but as I mentioned before, selling out and just putting that into cat. All right, next bit of news, DeFi Carrot. So founder of this is JSB. I want to see if he wants to jump on podcasts and we can talk through the product. But for now, the alpha is go and use this. Basically, it's, it's now in beta. We jump into here and you need to grab a beta code. I'll post mine. It'll be live soon. Uh, he's just creating it for me. And I think my code is XMonty. So you, you enter the application. And the reason why I'm telling you this is so you go and connect a wallet or tutorial as an example. Sorry, Soulflare. We'll just do a little refresh. It's not seeing my Soulflare wallet, but you can connect your wallet. Remember, it is in beta. Essentially, the play here is you're going with an ordered product. So smart contracts should be pretty good. And it's a bit of a points play. While they build out things to maximize yield and whatnot, we're, we're going for the fact that as an early user, we could be rewarded with some sort of airdrop. There's more to it than, than that for me. However, you know, for people watching the channel, that's essentially uh, what it is. Let's see if, let's see if the code is, is, is currently live. And if not, it will be soon. You can go, you can go and just buy carrot as well. It's going to go up about 10, 9.5% yeah, a year. It's not, it's not live yet. I'm sure they're going to roll out more things, but being early is always a smart thing, especially when it's from builders that have trust and they have an audit. This is their Twitter here. The next bit of news, Rex Research has made this line of dashboard available to everyone. So if you want to be tracking just random information and to see how this network is improving, this is very good. So as we start to get deeper into this cycle and we start to allocate funds to other blockchains we need to see other metrics showing there's actual proper growth or is solana still the best bet so it'd be great if we could get a lot of links like this for all the blockchains that we're following nx finance mark your calendar the points system will result in an airdrop uh, with season one token distribution happening on september 18th and the snapshot will be september 9th so i am using this you can you can check out my video on nx finance they have an IDO coming up as well. Let's just, it's like on the 2nd of September. I would, I'll see if I can bring them on for a bit of a podcast if people are keen before that, just to have a bit of a chat and see, you know, what they want to create, what they're planning on creating. Essentially, this is going to be a $4 million market cap, excuse me, $40 million fully diluted valuation, which is very low, but it's a hard time to raise. I think, I think October would be a better option, but they have their, they have their community and hopefully they manage to do that. They need this, by the way, in order to continue building what they're doing. They're basically self-funded and they haven't, maybe they don't have a lot of angel cash yet. Pathfinder's Mint is live. If you want to mint this, it is not minting very strongly because we like NFTs are not back. DeFi is where it's at. And that's why I just have not really covered NFTs very much at all. And now the actual, maybe there's a bit of an arbitrage here. You could mint, someone could sell it. Probably not going to be an arbitrage here. You mint for two path soul. My research has said if we want to claim it back, we would get the soul and they would get the actual yield that it generates. So if we want to burn it, we can do so. 
They put a lot of effort into this, so it's sad to see that it's not doing well. But ultimately, as good as your product is, the market has to want it. I'm, I am going to go mint this just for the support of the project uh, and entirely up to you if you want it. Remember, you get back your soul, not the past soul itself, but just the soul minus any future yield if you do want to burn the NFT. So there is a small chance that someone that just goes and buys this goes and lists it below the floor price, which is very small. And then you could pick it up and then you could burn it if you wanted to. There could be an arbitrage, just not super likely. If you want to have a look into why you should mint this and a bit more information, this will be linked below. This is from Pine Analytics. The Hermans, they also was the most hyped kind of mint of recent times. Uh, maybe super base had a little bit more hype, but they did pretty much primarily just pre-sales. And with Hermans, this is, in fact, I think maybe base only did pre-sales. With Hermans, they've got a 5,000 size collection and you can go and mint it. Here, the mint is now sold out. The rest of the rest of these, they were minted uh, just by the treasury. I think they managed to do around two and a half thousand pre-sale and then another thousand in the mint. So the mint price was 1.5 sold. You can now pick one up for well below mint price. I went and picked one up. I mean, it's always hard when you don't have hype initially from the start, but these guys, they are based in Dubai. They've got some cool stuff. I think uh, I'd like to get them on the podcast as well, where I drill them with some decent questions to see, you know, what are they actually building? So in the meantime, this is maybe a good deal for you, not financial advice, do your own research, possibly just staking so will outperform, who knows? Remember sometimes with an NFT, it's about access to a good community, like the Barrows, that kind of vibe. Magic Eden has created something new called Magic Eden's Mint Terminal. And this is cool. This is actually really, really cool. So it doesn't work on Solana yet. It's on base, which I mentioned last year will have hype and it, and it is, which I do not think will do well. And Ethereum, which has lower gas fees than it did in the previous cycle, but still pretty crazy. And you just see just random things that you can just mint, uh, which is kind of cool. And I don't even necessarily think that they have to be minted. They're not necessarily even being minted on Magic Eden. They could just be minted. I don't know how it works, but it's like a, it's basically, it reminds you of like pump.fun, but for NFTs, you can just go and mint something. And maybe that's cool. Also Magic Eden, they're doing three years of complete chaos. This is a monkey down DJ Ape celebratory NFT. It will there'll be a 10k supply. This goes live 3 p.m. Eastern time, which I believe is 7 p.m. UTC. And you can mint these with your say dialect link. So probably using the Magic Eden wallet. Unsure about that, but soulfully you can. So there'll be a link live. I'm gonna go and mint some just for just for the gigs, just for the fun, the fact that it's cool app. It's a bit of a commemorative edition. And who knows? I don't think they're going to reward us with any diamonds or whatever or Magic Eden tokens. But it'd be nice if they did, if they kind of threw some tokens to the OG communities that literally made them successful, helped make them successful. And next bit of news here. Let's just wrap it up quite quickly, actually. Remember, political tokens are doing well versus meme coins as well. So I got a thesis on this that I'm just coming from Bonk Guy, and this is his thesis. I bought some Tramp. I haven't bought any of these other ones, but don't fade political coins so close to an election. The Ton blockchain went down for four hours. It's now back up. A little bit scary. And if you're not following with Pavel, uh, I believe the French authorities will tell tell us today if they're going to charge Pavel or if he will be released. If like It's going to be very expensive. Like There's rumors that uh, UAE, we're going to buy 17 billion dollars worth of jets from them and have put that order on hold until he's released like what france is doing is very very dangerous in terms of essentially if you don't if you haven't been following with pavel we'll probably able to find it but i, I do want to speed through some stuff my understanding is he is being held because people use his platform telegram to do criminal activities but then again you have to wonder the same thing happens with everywhere the thing is we don't think there is backdoor access for government, which is why uh, this is very, very scary. Ultimately, you have to realize that, you know, whoever invented paper, are they going to be persecuted as well? Because it's the same deal. Somewhat, you're not responsible for someone's action, in my opinion. Next news, remember this uh, Sonarium. I don't know how to do this yet, but I'm putting it on your radar. Find another video or I'll have to work it out in the team. But there, this is Sony's blockchain. Testnet has gone live. Here's a guide, which will be linked after this. However, I don't know how much, like, I don't know how to get the Sepolia ETH, maybe ask Ronk knows, but then we can mint over there. There are no dApps live, but the dApps will go live later. But I think this would be worth doing because this is a layer two, will probably have its own token. There could be an airdrop. This is a site here, but I, I don't have any ETH here. I don't know how to get it yet. The other one that is worthwhile, nothing related to Solana, but this is story. They raised a huge amount of money. Their public test net is now live. And once again, this person here, doing well. Uh, they have $140 million in funding. It's free. It's an L1. There's a faucet. You add the chain, you get it, you mint. Please, everybody do this. 
The other thing I wanted to quickly mention is Solana ID. They have the IDO coming up. I did what was going to be a, a short podcast, live podcast with them yesterday. You'll find that on YouTube. It was an hour and 20 minutes long. Watch on 2x speed. We're not speed talking. It will be fine. But I did deep dive. I asked all the right questions, it was as many as I could. And I am now far more keen on them. I don't know if I'm going to get some token because I don't really want to use SwissBorg after KYC and whatnot. I can't really be bothered. But I am going to create their, like, do their pass. You should definitely do. And link a wallet, get this liner ID. It costs like $6 in Seoul or thereabouts. And this will get you into the priority. Ideally, get into first class or business class based on the wallet that you actually use. I'll be aiming to get into here. Now, token 2049 in Singapore and Breakpoint. If you're not going, try to see if you can go, particularly to Breakpoint, as you know, I think Solana is going to do exceptionally well. But here is this. This will be linked below. If you want to go to token 2049, it's $699. If you use my uh, Seb Monty 10, get 10% off. This ends September 6th. Yes, it's going to be expensive over there, but there are opportunities just in the conversations you have. And I think that's exceptionally plus EV. With Breakpoint, I've got plenty of videos on it, but remember, you will have FOMO if you can't. If you if you can get to Breakpoint, get to Breakpoint. If you have FOMO and you miss out, I'll have lots of content that you can watch to try and keep you up to date. Ideally, some sort of live reporting. If you can get there, just get there. It's $500. You're looking at a couple thousand in flights and accommodation. And let's now move on to the actionables for the day. All right. So it's the 28th of August. Due plan to recall 3.30 p.m. Claim that PO app. Remember, stake a milli bonk with bonk rewards. PYUSD borrow APY on Camino's 4%. You can supply at 14. It's just an arbitrage play. DC sold on dupe.ag. And of course, stake with validator.com, your trusted validator. Don't think sold is going to go down to $100, but some stink bids there. I think anything under $200 will be worthwhile, not financial advice. And book your tickets to Breakpoint and watch my Breakpoint video and Token 2049 if that's up your alley. Airdrop actionables. Only another day of me reminding you about Flocky, but this has been outperforming. Uh, Flocky and Cat, it's been doing well. Remember, whatever it was, 400000 of Flocky. Approximately, that's maybe $100. I'm not sure what it is, but hold that until the final snapshot and put some dollars into DeFi Carrot. I'll have my code up as soon as it's updated, but for now, this this guy's code is working and mint the DAA and SMB NFT from Magic Eden. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you tomorrow.